Okay, this is a review of a game that came out recently. It's named Carrier Command, and it should be a remake of their older version from uh, the late 18s that came out to computers like uh, Amiga 500 and Commodore 64, I think. The game is about you have um, a lot of islands on your map and you have to take control of them all. Also, there is an enemy carrier you have to take care of and maybe destroy. I only want to review the strategy mode part because it is the only mode you actually can continue play and play and play. When you have played it for a week, you think, oh, this is boring. And there is a lot of waiting time that you actually want to use and other things. You really want to have a speed of a button so you can speed the time up because you only have one supply bug and you can only have a little um, amount of production at the time uh, which means you can only create a few paths and the game is about you have this guy yeah? so um, you come up to the island and you uh, have to uh, take all the island and you have to use uh, your four flies that is actually called meters. Meters is um, a little uh, fly that can be like, controlled by, by a computer so you can actually uh, control the game very very nicely. But the problem is you also have uh, these four amphibia cars that actually can drive from the sea up to the island and these cars are the only way you can take over an island or build on the island and they are slow and again you want to speed up every time if things got destroyed you have to produce a new one and fail it from the production island or your stockpile all the way to your carrier and wait for that and after a few days you think oh, this is boring. Waiting, waiting, waiting. I have sit here and waited for a very, very, very long time if you take it all together. Just on my fucking supply bag, sail from the support, from the stockpile island to my career and back again. And from that stockpile island to my career and back again. Continue sailing, sailing, sailing while I'm in battle. And I think, please, we are in fucking war here. And I have control of the most of the islands. But I have only one bark I can supply my carrier with. Instead of maybe 10 or 20, I can build a million. I really mean I can build a million flies, a million cars, a million rockets, and <coughs> you name it. But I can only have one supply bark. And that doesn't make sense. I, I really think these Bohefa Intimidated people here had a very very good idea uh, by remaking a game from the late 18th. But there's so many things that are actually missing in this game. You also have, um, and that is my biggest problem, on your fly you can put a hook. And this hook you can use to take one of your cars, fly it from the water all the way into the island so you can easily transport your car around on the island because flying is faster than driving. The problem is you have automatic pilot on everything by using a big map but that automatic pilot doesn't support using the hook so you can Tell your flies to destroy that, fly there, do this, do this, do this. You can't tell your fucking fly to catch up a car with the hook. So you have to manually go in and easily and nicely fly the fly over your car, nicely down, click on F, hope that's not coming at latch because the game is full of glitches. 
Scooter is not coming at lunch because the lunch can destroy fly and your car like this because when you try to catch up the car this game thinks you need to have your car there mm. and you fly there and then it's just put things there but if the fly's position is on the ground of the top surface of the island your fly actually take damage and your car does too because your car is on the fly and then you actually miss both your car and fly and you have again to build a new one on the supply island and get the supplies on your carrier with you only bark and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait, and wait. there's also another problem the game is full of automatic pilots, computer control things and AIs that actually think for you and you only have to control it like a big strategy game. You have this big, I really, really mean big ship. And it's maybe one kilometer long with these big cannons. And you can have four of them on one carrier. And these big cannons can shoot from the carrier up to the island. Automatically, if the carrier is close enough on the island, the cannons start shooting. If they come enemy car uh, yes, actually if they come enemy cars, enemy flies. Actually, when the enemy carrier also coming the big cannons start to shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot until all the things the shoot them is destroyed or away from you but you can't use the automatic pilot to say destroy this thing sail up there and destroy it attack it and keep following it no, you have to use the automatic pilot to just click there and then the ship sail and click again, and ship fail, and fail, and fail, and slow speed, you can also manually control it and try to catch up in maybe the enemy carrier so every time you meet the enemy carrier you shall not suspect the enemy carrier to come and attack you it's actually fleeing from you and keep doing that until you damage it so much that it can't sail away from you so you can keep shooting and shooting at it, and shooting at it, and shooting at it, until you have destroyed. As long as the enemy carry is in the game, you have to to take over much islands and hope the enemy carry will not take over yours, because when they take over yours, they can get supplies and they can sail around in the game, and that's exactly what it is. So yeah. First, to catch the enemy carrier and destroy it, because that is the easiest way to win the game. When you have destroyed the enemy carrier, you think, oh, this is so easy now. I can take my carrier and sail up to every island and complete the small side quest that is on every island, which I actually think is a good thing, because <coughs> it's not just as in the late 18th when you are sail up to the enemy island and put rockets on the fly, lift up the fly and send it away on the island, smashing down the enemy command center, flying home, touch your fly and then take a car, sail it up on the enemy island, build a new command center, sail it home and sail away from the island, wait until the island is yours and get supplies from it. And this time you have to sail up to the island, maybe you can use your fires to destroy towers and enemy units and things to produce enemy units on the island. So you can take your walrus, again take your walrus, take your fucking car, drive it up to the enemy command center, hack it. Or you can take everything you have, destroy the enemy command center, take your walrus and sail it up again. Only using the walrus you can take over the island. Sail it up there again, use the walrus to build a new command center, sail it home, and sail away from the island. So every time you have to use the fucking walrus, I think, is that stupid? Is 
isn't that stupid? Actually, I have this fly that actually can fly as close as I actually mean it's close enough. On the command center, hack it with a hack unit. This actually can be put on a fly because a fly can draw a walrus. So it can also draw a fucking unit that's produced to hack things. And when you have hacked the enemy command center, you can fly home. And this easily done. No, not in this game. So they really, really, really tried to remake a game from the late 18s, but they forget to use their reins because in the late 18s it was harder to make a game like this than it actually is today. Um, and they focused on the graphics, and I think I could use high graphic game and try to review that on my, on my uh, whole new MacBook over there and play it through and try to review and tell you oh is this beautiful? No. I took actually my low end PC installed the game on that and start my review on that because it was easier to have the game on my old uh, HP, not old, my low end HP, and take <coughs> uh, the graphics and set them down to minimum and try to play the game because if the game is so much about graphics and they forgot anything else than the graphics, <sighs> this is not anything worth then. And actually, the game is just about the graphics again, but we also remembered a lot of the things from the late 18th that make this game so popular. And taking that graphics and put it to an old game, taking new strategy moments and put it into the old game, and take a lot of many things, that's, all, that's only small things they need. But these small things you actually need in this game do actually make this game not worth it to buy. I actually saw the cost in 14 euro on Steam. And 40 euros is actually many, many, many money. So I think I will not buy that game. I will rather wait and hope it's price is falling to maybe 20 or uh, I, I, I could hope uh, about 10 or 12 euro is enough to afford the game so I think if you really want to play a game like this and spend a lot of money on this then do it but I, 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 I really want to wait until the game is on the right price and I can recommend this game to anyone it's not worth it. If I really, really want to recommend this game to anyone, it should be one. I should like it because I think if I don't like them, they have to stay at home and play this game and wait for a hundred hours on the fucking supply box. <laughs> That's never coming to them. Actually, there's a trick. I have learned one trick because when you need to speed things up, you just have to Take your carrier and sail it in out of the same range because when you do that you um, can uh, keep up time warping because there is a time warp function but it's only working when you sail between islands which means if I is stuck on an island I have destroyed a lot of the half of the defensive I can keep filling up my supply bar and sending send it to my carrier. I actually can win every island, it's just take a long time and I really need to think every time I send a fly in the air and send it into the islands because it's not every island you just can destroy 